my neighbor let me borrow this. That's a table saw blade. This video is sponsored by ButcherBox. We've got a big project today. The first big project of our new land. And it's gonna be a fun one because I get to drive this thing. Hey chickens, good morning. Bernice. Fuzzy, good morning. Uh, the night, this land comes alive because I've been hearing some coyotes, which I think they're coyotes. Also, I shined a light out there and I definitely did see a pack of deer. We are so not organized right now. We have so much stuff just kind of everywhere we're, that we're trying to go slowly go through. Like my earmuffs, I need earmuffs to ride that mower. So Justin let me borrow his skag. All right, my friend Jonah just loaded up the skag. I just don't think that my little John Deere tractor is cut out for 14 acres. What I'm learning is that a skag is pretty much the Cadillac of lawnmowers. The pastures have been way overgrazed and really compacted with the horses that were on here. I mean, very compacted. It's like a desert. And I believe they had donkeys as well. Lots of these briars, really thick thorny bushes. I think some of them are probably wild blackberries as well. Over there too. And so with these briars, I plan on just chopping it down with the mower. It's all these little patches of thorny bushes. Not sure how long this is gonna take me. I'm hoping it's just gonna take me the day. Uh, but you know, we got probably about 10 acres of these bushes. After looking at this gag and then comparing it to the ones at Lowe's, everything else seems like a toy. As much as I dislike mowing the lawn, driving this skag actually makes it kind of fun because it goes to like, I think 16 miles per hour. Man, this thing is fast. I didn't think it was that fast, but I feel like I'm just like Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. <laughs> <laughs> Where I'm just going, I just can't control it very good. So I'm trying to go slow, but it's hard because you just like it just wants to go. So my neighbor let me borrow this. That's a table saw blade. The weeds here are no joke. I guess you could say we're just trying to reclaim back. Uh, our pasture land here. So many thorny brambles, man. These brambles are not anything to mess with. I mean, the only reason why we're here is because we gotta grow some food, right? That's the reason why we're here. We're gonna grow food, we're gonna build stuff. It's been neglected long enough. I know I said we'd start on a house first with house renovations, but you know, just can't help myself. Plus I'm trying to get as much use out of this skag as possible since I have it, because I'm not gonna be have it forever, it's not mine. And so, uh, at a certain point, I'm gonna have to return it. Look at all these tiny black ants. All right, we made a pathway now. I can open up the gate. Everything was going fine. I was going to town on these brambles, and then bam. Oh man, I just broke Justin Rhodes' lawnmower. Oh man, the belt broke. I think this belt belonged to the blades to make him spin. Of course that would happen, right? I never borrow stuff like this, but the one day I do, a belt breaks. Butcher Box just left this at the doorstep for us. Grass-fed steaks, all 100% grass-fed beef. Currently, we don't raise our own beef. The next best thing is ordering from ButcherBox where it delivers at your doorstep. How convenient is that? Today's sponsor, ButcherBox, is offering new members two pounds of grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef in every box for the lifetime of your membership. Use the link below to sign up today. 
All right, so I'm back on carnivore, guys. I took a little break, but this week I've been doing uh, more uh, more meat. This meat's from Butcher Box, and I love it how they put the directions right here how to cook it. I thought I'd be mowing the lawn all day long, so that kind of put a damper on things until I can fix the lawn more. I guess I'll do the next best thing and use a chainsaw. There's quite a few trees that have grew into the structures here and it did already some damage. But I should trim these up or just get rid of them before they do even more damage. I went and got a new belt in town this morning. Things don't always go as planned. Now that we have a big property, we're starting to get into bigger equipment. I need to learn how to fix these things when the opportunity arises. And since I'm at it, the tires seem kind of low. Let's see if this works. 